The state and federal government now say that Connecticut has become the first state to end chronic homelessness among veterans. Chronic homelessness, as defined by the government, someone who has been homeless four times in a three-year period. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more on what's being done here. Mark? Hi, Ann and Darren. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Hundreds of formerly homeless veterans here in Connecticut are now in permanent housing, or at least in temporary housing. Governor Malloy, the U.S. Secretary of Veterans Affairs, and members of the congressional delegation visited with veterans at the Victory Gardens Veterans Housing Complex near the VA hospital in Newington, touting a major breakthrough. We are the first uh, state in the nation to end chronic homelessness amongst veterans. But also here today were the foot soldiers, state and federal employees and volunteers that have made this happen by actually going out and finding homeless veterans. Oftentimes people will call a hotline if they've encountered someone who's uh, experiencing homelessness. One of those that was homeless is Brandon Bristol of New Haven. I was a suicide attempt. I was on alcohol and drugs and I sobered up thanks to the help of the VA that I wasn't or didn't know about five years ago. Thankfully, many homeless veterans turn their lives around and some end up helping others, like Brandon is doing. I get down to New Haven's Green or West Haven's Beach and I uh, hand out information to, I, walk, I approach veterans and just walk up and, you know, ask them if they're a veteran to begin with, you know. Brandon's efforts were singled out today as having helped bring many veterans to a better place. I just started doing it just to keep myself sober. Next thing you know, it's a snowball effect and I have a bunch of guys pat me on the back and it's a feel-good feeling. That's why I do it. Yeah, he deserves that pat in the back, doesn't he? That's Brandon, that's a great story. Uh, anyway, the governor uh, did mention today that there obviously are some homeless veterans who have fallen through the cracks in this effort. Uh, if you think you know someone or are aware of someone, a homeless veteran, you can get information on how to help him or her by coming to our website, WTNH.com, and clicking on the story. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.